Has there been a time in your life where you realize you don't have the required talents or skills for the task or challenges thrown at you or to the opportunities that comes knocking at your door? Whenever you face that situation, you might either go into a panic mode or quickly put your hands up in surrender or throw away the opportune moments of your life. Sometimes you wish you had enough skills or talents whether it is to do a task at your workplace or business or for any other reasons but you find yourself that you lack those skills and talents that you require. I want to encourage you that it is not the end of the world for you. Ask God to bless you with the skills and he will bestow it upon you. We find a lot of examples in the Bible where different people at different times were blessed with the skills needed at that time. Let us look at some examples in Exodus chapter 35 verse 30 to 35. This was the time when the Israelites were building the tabernacle for God in the wilderness and they needed people with the skills to build the tabernacle. The scripture says in Exodus 35, And Moses said to the children of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah, and he has filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and understanding in knowledge and all manner of workmanship to design artistic works to work in gold and silver and bronze in cutting jewels for setting in carving wood and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship and he has put in his heart the ability to teach in him and Aholiah the son of Ahishamak of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to do all manner of work of the engraver and the designer and the tapestry maker in blue, purple and scarlet thread and fine linen and of the weaver, those who do every work and those who design artistic works. So we see here that God had filled Bezalel with his spirit with skills in all manner of carvings and artistic works. God also gave Bezalel the ability to teach others. God is a giving God and he always wants us to bless others with the skills and blessings he gives us. We also see that God blessed others with the skills they needed. In book of Daniel, we find that Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Hazariah were blessed by God with knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. We read in Daniel chapter 1 verse 17, As for these four young men, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Who gave them all these skills and wisdom? It was God. We also read in Genesis about Joseph that God's favor was upon him. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 5 it says, So it was from the time that he, that is forty for his master, had made him Joseph, overseer of his house and all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake, and the blessings of the Lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field. Again we read in Genesis chapter 39 verse 21, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. So we see here that 
it is god who bestowed blessings and favor upon joseph do you want the favor of god then ask god and you will be surprised what god will do in your life do you want the skills talents and wisdom as bezalel daniel hanania michel and azaria then ask god and most importantly walk in the ways of god it is written in james chapter 1 verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god who gives to all liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him paul writes in philippians chapter 4 verse 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me so don't be downcast discouraged or disheartened when you face those challenges and opportunities in life step into it and ask god to help you and he will help you whenever you need help as he did to all those people i mentioned earlier what a loving and wonderful god we have who lifts up the weak and place them in high places i believe that god will do the same things or maybe greater things in your life as he did in the lives of the people i mentioned earlier so may god bless you and keep you and may you see greater things coming in your life in the coming days god bless you amen